Hey guys, welcome back to the 1957 Aljo project. I'm at the stage of the build where I'm working on my windows, shining the frames, replacing screens. This is one of the um, windows that pops out. It's not a, a jealousy window. So I took it apart to clean the glass and replace the, the gasket around the windowsill. Uh, I'm going to have to do that on both. I have two of them. But I was trying to, you don't have to take the screen out to do this, by the way. You can access the glass through the front, um, but my screen was torn. So I went ahead and ordered from Ace Hardware just some, you know, screen material. It's not like what you probably have at home. It's a, an aluminum wire screen. So here's the challenge I'm finding. I took the old one out. This is the old one. Um, it sat something like that in the frame, right? So I can zoom out like that. And then the lever that pushes the window open, this lever here, um, goes through this hole, etc. But these old frames are made of a really stiff, I guess, thicker wire. I mean, you can see you can, you can bend this wire and it holds its shape. As a result, when they stuck it in the edge of the frame, they just had to bend it one time and stick it in and it held. Which must have been great, but it's not going to work for me because the modern wire is thinner and doesn't hold its shape very well. So when I attempted to push it into this groove, let's see if you can get a better shot. That's all it does. It just pushes down in there all the way around. When I did that, it just came right out. And then when I doubled it and tripled it to try to really wedge it in there, it still just pushed out. So I was about to have to start looking for some, some stronger, thicker wire. But then I thought about it. I've got all these old window, uh, these this, uh, window screens from our house where they've been damaged over the years and replaced. And those all have this cording that go along the edge of the uh, screen. I, by the way, before I did this, I tried wire. I tried different thicknesses of wire. I tried a small screen, uh, sorry, string. None of that worked. So I was sitting in my office and I thought, wait a minute, this is made for it. Maybe it'll work. And in fact, so far, fingers crossed. I literally just came out here from my desk <laughs> to try it and pressing this pliable cord into this groove so far is working. Um, I'm using this pry bar that I have. It's a small tool angled. The most important thing is it's not sharp. It's not pointed and essentially just allows me to press it all along that groove. Now I haven't made the corner yet. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm nervous about that because it could just pop out along the edge. But my goal is just to keep working this slowly and methodically along the edge all the way around until I get back to this corner. And then I'll be done. Yay. Um, but I just wanted to show you this because it just it just occurred to me. Uh, you can obviously buy this anywhere um, because it's made for standard windows. But it it's uh, rubbery. It compresses. This gap is fairly wide. So this essentially fits in easily, but if you press it in with the wire, so far anyway, it's sticking. And I'm not really going to tug on it, but it's going to work for our project. So just wanted to show you that and give you that tip. Thanks.